Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about a little bit of reflection. For me at least, reflection means growing and overcoming some obstacles. So for me, uh, this year I faced my first real injury and that was me catching about 250 um, in the clean and my elbows basically hit my <laughs> hit the top of my knees and they really jacked up my left wrist. Don't know why my right wrist, wrist was okay, but it really messed up my left wrist so that put me back I would say eight months or so from doing some of the main lifts mostly snatching and that took a long long time to recover but during that time you know it was kind of compounded in terms of you know getting a new work schedule and also helping my parents move and that really just took me out of the mindset of focusing on you know recovering and going back to training so that was kind of like a double whammy for me because i had to get over that mental hump and just jump back on the horse even though it meant extreme amounts of pain and a lot of money going towards a uh, rehab with you know a chiropractor so you know things like that you have to look on the bright side of things because that really really put things in perspective on how bad I really wanted this and how bad I really wanted to keep training. So I would say typically a lot of people would just be like, you know what, that's it, I'm out. Uh, I should probably stop. It's really gonna mess up my whole work-life balance and my whole mental state and everything like that. But that was something that really taught me to, you know, just keep a positive mindset even when things were just collapsing all around me. But it took me a while, but I was back, and I am back, lifting, and pretty much a little bit ahead of where I got injured at. And, you know, that's, for me, that was a huge milestone for me to get over, and just to get back consistently training about five days a week. So, I would say a couple other things were, for me, you know, going into reflection is life goals outside of lifting, because those do impact my one quality of life and two being able to train more efficiently and for me at least is my commute to uh, the closest gym around me that uh, my other coach owns is basically about 25 minutes away from me with no traffic so for me that means i would have to wake up at about 4 45 a.m to beat the morning commute <laughs> and if i don't beat the morning commute then I would have to wait typically about an hour until the morning commute uh, pretty much finishes through. And then it would take me about an average of 30 minutes or so. So 30, 35 minutes or so, I should say. But basically, you know, I would lift there the heavier days, uh, more complicated movements that I don't like using, uh, you know, the other gym I go to, which is about eight minutes away. <laughs> and that's basically only have, they only have one barbell there. Uh, that's basically used for doing Olympic lifts only. So thankfully, I'm the only one in the morning who wakes up that early that uses that. So I can get in a majority of um, the basic movements in there, you know, squatting, pulling, uh, power snatches, snatches, but heavy cleans, I would usually go to uh, my main gym, which is the gym you see right now is CrossFit Twins. Uh, that's in Anaheim and I live in the Pomona area, so that's about, you know, 30 minutes of some change. But if I make more money, things uh, get a little bit more time efficient. And, you know, again, what I want to elaborate is I can uh, purchase things that will make increase my recovery and my ability to adapt to, you know, higher training volumes for me. That'd be, you know, some whey protein. And what I just recently started using is... Uh, melatonin and magnesium before I go to sleep and I feel like I wake up more refreshed if I get the same um, hours of sleep and even even a little bit of less actually less hours of sleep so I also purchased um, this band called whoop and that basically gives me I would say honestly the most efficient feedback in terms of how my training is going and how my body is actually feeling Although I feel I can push through some of the days that it tells me to rest, I know that's probably not the best idea. <laughs> and typically when it uh, basically tells me I should take the day uh, a lot easier and should use this time to do some 
you know, restorative workouts. And I, you know, my body just feels bad. <laughs> my body just feels really bad for lack of a better word. So, you know, just trying to gear uh, life goals more towards um, obviously make more money. And for me, that just translates to me uh, just having easier time recovering because I use a little extra cash to buy little uh, things I like to call fluff, which just, you know, you don't need them, but if you have them, it helps you or helps me uh, recover a little bit more efficiently. And in the end, everybody wants to make more money and everybody wants to be able to train a little bit harder. So moving on from that. And finally, I really want to talk about the future goals I really have. Um, one, obviously, to grow this channel and to help you guys be better at doing Olympic weightlifting movements or asking for feedback so I can help you guys critique those movements and help you get better. And the other one is basically just lifting goals. Um, I really want to snatch 110 because that's just a beautiful number to say and I want to clean and jerk at least 130 or 135 by I would say mid this year um, and or a little bit late last year because I've cleaned 129 but I haven't cleaned and jerked anything over 130 and I've, cl I've jerked from the blocks 135 before <laughs> and that's just something that was um, you know I did that maybe twice and that was about a year and a half ago or so so if I can string those together that would be quite amazing and hopefully put me in a good spot to <laughs> you know hopefully compete at a you know higher level I just really want to go to nationals at least maybe in a year or two um, and that's you know I would say one of the top goals I have in the hopefully near future if not uh, sometime soon so I want to do that, one, uh, two, want to win, uh, you know, just have a gold medal this year. It's been a while since I competed and just to have a nice shiny gold medal just to toss in the box of other medals uh, would be nice. Just a little more of, uh, you know, uh, reassurance that I'm doing the right work uh, and also competing against people who were uh, just, you know, very competitive in that weight class because no one wants to sweep the competition when there really wasn't any competition. So I really want the win to be fruitful and hopefully that can happen very soon, very, very soon. So I'm pretty excited going into that or going into this year because there's just a lot of things that could happen and I just can't wait. I know they're going to happen, but I just can't wait for them to happen. So my last goal is more uh, cosmetic and that's getting below 19% body fat. Uh, pretty sure I can get it to 17, but that's something we'll, we'll start at 19. Okay, let's just not get too carried away here. Let's start at 19 and then go from there. And then we can revise the goal. So right now, put in perspective, I'm about 22% body fat. Um, and, you know, that's a little high. But obviously, I haven't started cutting yet. But that's something that's in the works uh, starting a couple days ago. So I would say those are my goals uh, for this year. Very, very attainable, I would say. I've uh, been peaking pretty well. Uh, and been PRing and I would say my two rep maxes, my three rep maxes and the weights that used to be considered heavy are now very uh, easy to move. You know, I wouldn't say effortless, but pretty easy to move and pretty happy about that. It's a good sign. Good sign for a max out there. So other than that, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Like my video if you can. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what your goals are for this year of lifting. And hopefully I get to see some uh, PRs from all of you soon. All right. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.